Obviously the first main session uh, for the boys uh, since we've been touched down in Queenstown. Yesterday was a beautiful flush session, so boys are ready to go for a day and um, similar to sort of uh, what we have at home. Um, you know, with the cricket oval's ideal size. Um, and uh, although it was a bit of rain, I thought the standard was pretty good. You know, was, we've been through a few sessions and a few meetings about how we want to optimise our time here and, and that was why you know yesterday was in place just to sort of always get a bit of a run in and loosen up the bodies after the, the plane trip and the bus trip. So um, today was sort of you know ticking that box and, and not going, you know, step backwards but you know we're here for a reason and that's a uh, continue to get better and continue to um, do the next phase of our pre-season. So, um, boys really attacked the training session. I thought it was really good. I think it's a good chance to sort of get to know blokes, you know, outside of the club. So a lot of we spent a lot of time at the club, but you know, away from that and how they how they act and how they are, and, and they also got staff as well and the execs. So it's a good chance to learn some learn some things about other guys or just see what how other guys go about it. For me, it's sort of um, you know, it's just another step in the pre-season as well. So. Um, you come to a different place, there's no time to relax, no time to you know, get used to it because then you sort of lose sessions. So uh, my focus was just to be ready as soon as I could be you know, and not lose any time. So attack the gym sessions, attack the training sessions and all that and, and um, you know, take as much away from the camp as I could from the others. Bucks was talking with the other day about there's probably only less than a handful of guys that have really cemented a spot in the team. So um, you know, there still is a long way to go. First, AFL game is, is early April, so that's still a fest in a way. But there is a bit of you know, uh, you know, nervousness and stuff about the uh, upcoming inter clubs and and obviously uh, the Dub Challenge games as well. So there's um, boys are, you know going to start trying to put their hand up ahead of the next bloke, and that's that's probably a good thing with the intensity and the uh, competitiveness of training. You know, it's exciting times, um, but obviously they haven't won any points yet, so it's going to be you know. You do all the hard work in the pre-season, but you've got to bring it onto the field during the season. So that'll be interesting to see, but yeah, it's definitely exciting times.